Hello my friends, uh, in this section we are going to make subscription page. In this subscription page we are just going to show only the videos that belongs to the user that we are subscribing to. So to make this page, so first we need to make the empty subscription page and then we will make a route for a subscription page. So by that route we can come into this page uh, from the another page and uh, we will make a template for this entire layout uh, but we already made this one in here for the all of the video part so we can just uh, use this layout even for the subscription page after that we will fetch all of the videos that only belong to subscriber and then lastly we can just populate the fetch the data in the browser that's what we are going to in this section and first i'm going to my text editor in here, the first I'm going to run our application by typing run npm run dev. So now we come to our application. So first we are going to make the empty subscription page. So flip back over to our text editor and then we are going to make the folder for a subscription page. I say subscription page and then inside the subscription page folder I will say subscription page.js in here i will type r f c e for react functional component and i said a subscription page so i made this empty subscription page and now it's time to make a route for subscription page so to make that route we go to app.js first we will import that page we just made so subscription page from views and subscription page and subscription page and then we copy this one and paste it and we got the subscription page inside a component and we want anyone to go inside this subscription page so we set this one as a no and we copy it so now we finish this second step and now it's time to make the third step to make a template but if we come back in here we already made this template so we bring this template for the subscription part but i think it's time to just uh, change this header because we actually don't have this blog page so remove this page and then we will make that our uh, subscription page and then whenever we go inside the create uh, upload video page we try to do like video at upload but it's quite bothering me so that's why i'm just gonna make uh, that tab for coming inside this upload page too so to do that i need to just type left menu page so you see there is the blog so i'm going to just uh, delete this one so if i come back in here so that blog tab was removed so in here i'm going to copy this one and then paste it and we say subscription for the key and then subscription here like this uh, but we come back to our app.js we actually didn't change this path for the subscription page so we change this one into sub subscription and then we have this subscription pass for the subscription page so we come back to our left menu .js. we will put this pass for the subscription so i'm going to save it and i come back in here you can see the subscription tab appear so if i click it uh, we got inside the subscription page i also want to make a tab for the uploading video page so so for that, first we are going to delete this part. So we need to go right menu, file in here. So we scroll down and as we did in our left menu, we copy and paste this one and we say upload and then we say upload again and then we just change this one into href and we just type that path for the upload video page which is the video and upload and, and save it and we come back in here so you can see this upload but i want move into the left part so i want to change this one into here so i save it again 
and you can see the upload tab appear in here so if I click it so we come to our upload video page so I'm going to go to subscription page first so now we need to bring this template into our subscription page so we first go to our landing page and then we are going to bring all of the template we made for the landing page because it's the actually the same for the subscription page first i put this one in here and we come back in here and we also copy this one in here too like this and then maybe for the use effect part and then this part will be very similar so i'm going to copy all of the part in here and paste it and even for the import part would be very similar so i'm going to bring all of them in this subscription page so now we've finished making this the template so now it's time to fetch all of the videos only belong to the user that i am subscribing to first i need to change this location into get subscription videos first i will delete this one because we need to change it later and change this one into get subscription videos and then we also need to change this get http request into a post because we have the variable put into so we are going to set the variable which property do we need to send to the backend to get subscription videos in here we need to send the user from ID. The reason is I, I am going to explain it later so when we made our router inside the server. So first, uh, but now in here is how can we get the user from ID. So in our last section, we got it this from the local story. So if we come back in our application again and then we just uh, go to application so you can see there is a user ID. This is a user from ID. So we can get this one in here. So to get it, so we say local storage and get item. And we say user ID. So we put this variable in here. So we go to video router. So in here, we are going to copy this one and paste it. And we copy this location, get subscription videos in here and then we are going to first delete this part we don't need so what we need to do in here is there are two steps we need to do the first step is that we need to find all of the users that i am subscribing to from subscriber collection after that if I got all of the users that I am subscribing to, now I need to fetch all of the videos that belong to the users that I found in previous step. So in here, we're going to use a subscriber model and in here, we're going to use the video model. So first, in here i'm going to bring the subscriber up, but we actually don't don't import that subscriber model in here first we are going to bring it subscriber and require models subscriber and first we are going to bring the subscriber model and find by using user from request and body and user from and execute that query and we get the callback error and then subscribers if error return risk and status 400 and send error so inside this subscriber documentation we got all of the information this user from is subscribing to so if this user from is subscribing to four members inside this documentation there are four members information so we only want to get their name inside the array so that's why i set that array variable in here first subscribe boot 
user and then we do subscriber get from in here so we will do the map and then we do subscriber and then index and then array function and in here we put this one in here and then push the push it to the array and subscriber and user 2 uh, the reason why I say subscriber and user2 is if we come to our MongoDB inside the subscriber collection so you can see user2 that's why we say subscriber and user2 so we put all of the user2 inside this subscribed user array now in here we got all of the subscribed user inside the array so now in here we need to do step 2 we bring the video model and find a writer and we need to use the this one so if i explain about this in is so we have this array and inside the array we have the subscribe user id so if we just do video and find an id and then we say just one person's id like this we will just find this user's video but inside in here we can have so many people's id uh, not just one person maybe it can be five person or seven person so that's why we cannot just do like one person two person three person like this so that's why we need to use this in so if we just uh, put this subscriber user in here uh, this in function will take care of every person inside this array so that's why i use this in so if you want to know more about this in you can come inside this mongodb documentation and you can just uh, read along this part so i recommend you to read along this part so you will know more about this one and so we need to populate for the writer and then we will execute the query by using this execute method and we will get the callback error and then videos so inside in this video document this one includes all of the videos that belong to that users that we are subscribing to so if error return risk and status and 400 and send error and rest and status and 200 and json and success true and we will send the videos information into the client so now we save it so we go to our our subscription page subscription page so in here we want to get this value inside the console so i just come to our application so now i want to go to subscription page to get that console so now you see here uh, we have five videos information that belong to our subscribed user so now it's time for us to populate this one like populate the fetch data in the browser so first we go to our text editor and in here we just put this set video in here and uh, we put this one in here in here and i just delete it and then we already brought all of the template in here so that's why we actually don't need to change any ah we change this one into subscribe boot videos so now nah, actually it's really done there is nothing we need to change in here now we save it and then we go back to our application so now you see now we only got the videos that belong to subscribed users so if i go inside this post i'm going to unsubscribe it and then i go back to subscription page you see all of the videos that belong to that user has gone if i go to this video again and then I subscribe this user and then I go to subscription page so you can see this video is to come back in here because I subscribe this user again thank you for watching this video see you in our next section thank you